What's up, Fox Trotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Maybe consider subscribing before you leave today. If you're returning, hello. It's so nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person who still hasn't put all the holiday decorations away yet. You look great. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I am so excited to bring to you an r slash that happened video. I just opened this subreddit today and it spoke to me. So that's what we're going with. And then tomorrow I will have, or the day after, something like that. In the next day or so, <laughs> you will have an r slash anti MLM video for me to enjoy. And I just want to give a quick shout out before we jump into the video. I want to say thank you so much to Emily for sending me the most thoughtful gift. It was a super cool bracelet, uh, custom design from a company called Zox. Very neat. Uh, shout out to the artist, whoever did the little foxy design on it. I love it. Emily, I am super honored. I am very grateful, very thoughtful. You rock. And to Ava and Carolyn, who sent me cards for the holidays, you guys are too sweet. I love you all very much. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Update on my neighbor who put in a noise complaint about my kids. The fella came up as I wrote a passive aggressive note due to no one answering the door. He was super apologetic, said his girlfriend is a blank and then asked for my number and said we should grab a drink sometime. Ha ha ha, I can't even. I could take your mans if I want to. We all know this, 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 this didn't happen. That made me stutter. It made me so upset. <laughs> well, we can all agree that this did not happen. Am I right? No way. Absolutely did not. Uh, I think we can also all agree that uh, in 2020, we are done with this toxic attitude of women hating women. Um, I'm just, I'm not about it anymore. I would like to, for that to stop. I, I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I can't be the only one, right? I heard a quote years ago, and I don't remember who said it. Maybe one of you will. But there was a quote I heard that says that there is a special place in hell for women who don't help each other or something kind of like that. And the older I get, the more I realize the truth in that. It is just so clear. It's so obvious. And it's, boy, we get a lot farther when we lift each other up. I'm just saying. Hi, I'm Shelly's boyfriend, and I'm out of my mind. Now that's an introduction. Mmm, it's a great way to crush your fool's morale, make him think you're completely insane and actually pretty fun. I got in a fight and allowed the dude to hit me and hit me over and over. He could not knock me out the last time he punched me. I had butted his punch. I'm pretty sure I heard something pop in his hand, but now... <sighs> okay, I need to take a breath. Um, <laughs> whoa. Uh, that didn't happen. None of it. Also, interesting place to choose to expound your fake story <laughs> for some sort of validation you must not be getting in life in which case i'm sorry uh and why were why you so many ha ha's at the bottom like we get it it's so funny <laughs> and then you use some ridiculous emoji faces <sighs> this guy thinks he's like the joker doesn't he so my 11-year-old son drew his own Pokemon for a joke, and I decided to send it to the CEO of Pokemon, and I just got an email today saying that they are making it into a real character. He's gonna be over the moon. Why are you lying? That never happened, and uh, hopefully you didn't tell your son that you had done that either, because if so... Well, that's just not cool. That's kind of like playing with his emotions a little, don't you think? <sighs> God. Also, every time I see uh, <laughs> the name Megatucci, I just think, Megatucci. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. I hope, I hope, above all hopes, that she did not tell her son that she had done this. And I, I think I hope even more that this is fake. I hope this is satire. Like, I hope this just didn't happen at all. <laughs> Driving with my son in the car. I'm singing at the top of my lungs. He looks over at the lady next to us at the stoplight, rolls down his window, and yells, Will you be my mom? I'm a little offended, but fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't even care if this one's fake. It's funny. And frankly, this seems rather believable. If you had a mother like mine, you would, you would find this believable, all right? Take it from a person who has a mom that will sing a song if it's like on the radio or like we're out at the grocery store and a song comes on that she likes like Carly Simon or something like she is gonna be singing it and she doesn't care if she's loud she does not care and I'll even I remember telling her mom you're, you're singing too loud and she's like oh I don't care 
<laughs> she just doesn't. So this to me seems like something that could possibly happen. If you can relate, if you have a mom that likes to embarrass you in public by singing, please let me know down below <laughs> or frankly any other embarrassing stories. But in particular, doesn't this seem like something that could be real? <laughs> Like I said, this is probably not true. I'm sure this didn't actually happen this way, but it's still funny. <laughs> Bumped into a guy at Trader Joe's who was wearing a Patriots hoodie that said, we're all Patriots. And I told him, not today. He looked at me and said, excuse me? And I said, not today. And knocked his eggs out of his hands and dipped. Uh, well, first of all, that definitely didn't happen. And if it did, then this should be under the r slash am I the a-hole subreddit. Because, uh, in this case, yeah, you're the a-hole here, my dude. I don't know how to, else to explain it. <laughs> Sounds like you just attacked someone who was shopping wearing a hoodie of their favorite sports team. Cool, bro. <laughs> When I was younger, I saw some boys jabbing sticks at some dogs behind a fence and the dogs were biting and snarling. The boys left and feeling sorry for the dogs, I started talking and petting them and they stood there looking at me but never moved away. My mom saw me and almost fainted. They were wolves and not tame ones. I didn't want to leave them but mom made me. You did not, lol, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh what a cool dude you were just hanging out with some real wolves you thought they were dogs but they were wolves you tamed wolves wow so cool <laughs> yeah this did absolutely not happen no way this happened no way no how mm -mm. no <laughs> just like the comment says you did not come on now <laughs> Funny story. I went to this girl's party the week after she beat the mm out of my friend. While everyone was getting trashed, I went around putting tuna inside all the curtain rods and so like weeks went by and they couldn't figure out why the house smelled like festering death. They caught me through this video where these guys at the party were singing Beyonce while I was in the background with a can of tuna. Well, if that did happen, you're, you're a big jerk. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, was that person who uh, beat up your friend the only person living in that house? Did you just, like, punish everybody for that? What's the context here? I feel like there's a whole story we're missing. I just gotta say, this sounds awfully shady, and while part of me kind of is chuckling, because it does sound like a, like a Van Wilder movie or something like that, I just, I think in real life this type of stuff just doesn't actually happen, and it's pretty not nice behavior, pretty trashy behavior. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this happened last night. The fact that you have to say this happened makes me believe that none of this we're about to read happened at all. I was recording a few takes of this to post here on the group since one of the members did a cover for Sons and Daughters farm episode. A girl down the hall from my apartment heard it on the way to the elevator and knocked on my door. I open it and she goes, Dinner party! I got her number. She's coming over this weekend to binge the office with me. Oh, my ex-girlfriend of four years dumped me right before Christmas, so it's just nice to win one. I don't believe any of that. I don't believe that this girl heard you play guitar. I don't believe you were posting a cover of anything. All I see is a photograph of you playing the guitar. Can't even see where your fingers actually are on the neck of the thing anyway, so it's hard to tell if you're even like making a real cord, so I don't know. Uh, I don't believe you that you had an ex-girlfriend that dumped you right before Christmas. If that's true and it did happen, I'm really, really sorry, but lying to get their attention on Facebook is like a really not cool move, my dude. Like, like nope. Maybe get a little self-confidence. Uh, but I would definitely stop the fake humble bragging online about some fake girl that definitely did not knock on your apartment door because you played the guitar so well and dinner party and the office binge like, ugh, blah, <laughs> spare me. Oh God, this one is long and it's so full of BS, very condensed to BS. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last customers of my night. Grandson and grandmother. 
Grandson starts mouthing off to her as he's ordering his Grande VBF. If you know Starbucks speak, let us know down below what a Grande VBF is. I have no clue. She looks at me. I look at her. And then I give him the look. And she saw it. Y'all know the look I mean. I asked her, would you mind if I have a quick, unfiltered chat with him? Of course. Have at it. It went something like this. <laughs> oh, God. From where I stand, I promise you that you should consider yourself lucky you haven't gone flying through that door yet. Oh, wow, I'm getting physical right away. You owe her an apology and it better be sincere. If she brings you back and tells me that this attitude problem of yours hasn't changed, I just might make good on my promise. Oh my God, you are physically threatening this child. <laughs> The only acceptable answer to my next question is, yes, sir. Now, do we have an understanding? He gave the correct answer, and not only did he say thank you for the frap, he apologized to his grandmother in front of me. It took everything she had just to say thank you without breaking down. Whoa, 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 you're such a hero, whoa. None of this happened. None of this happened. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. Like Starbucks has a pretty strict code of how their employees are supposed to act. I had a very good friend who worked her way through college while working at Starbucks uh, for years. And I can tell you right now that there's no way any Starbucks would ever allow any employee to talk to anybody like this at all, regardless if the grandson deserved it. Am I, I'm, I mean, am I crazy here? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but really, uh, this absolutely didn't happen. You're very full of yourself. You have certainly a lot of great advice to give. I bet you were the model child growing up and maybe you should consider calling your grandma or mom and saying thank you and get off your pedestal while you're at it. And in that case, I will also get off my pedestal and I will text my mom that I love her after this. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson is such a down to earth, beautiful human. Oh my God. I once got her food at a fancy New York City restaurant by accident. The server messed our tables up. I ended up eating about half of the meal before I realized it wasn't the grass-fed burger I ordered. What? By the end of the night, her and her boyfriend came up and laughed at how I devoured what should have been her burger. These commas are out of control. I offered to buy them a drink and they sat down and talked with us for like an hour. Very nice, humble people. It wasn't until I was leaving that someone asked why I didn't get her autograph. God, these commas. That is the day I learned who Scarlett Johansson is. My wife said she would totally do a... Wow. <sighs> none of this happened. Absolutely none of this happened. Also, you're telling me that at this fancy New York City restaurant, Scarlett Johansson had ordered just a regular old burger, like somehow she didn't want the grass-fed one either, you know, maybe, I guess, but you, I just don't find any part of this convincing, and I, I just want to know, did you know this was a joke when you typed it? Did you think people would actually take you seriously? Did you really think this was going to be believable? Oh, <laughs> uh, I feel like at the end of the day, I just want to hope that everything that appears under r slash that happened we're, we're satire. I just, I have to like have that hope, <laughs> keep the faith alive that everybody is in on the joke. Saw a photo of my ex on Instagram and I yelled out loud, she got ugly as hell and everyone in this Walmart started laughing. Like when I left you, your entire hygiene process just ended. It's probably pretty safe to say, based on that response there, that she was the one that left you. <laughs> you sound a little upset about it. Do you want to talk about it? Are you doing okay? Yeah. Maybe you should stop checking your ex out on Instagram and let her live her life, and then you can move on and everything will be fine. Oh, and stop telling lies about everybody in Walmart knowing exactly what you're talking about and laughing in unison, because it's not a good look, my guy. I remember when my teacher told me the word of the day was bird, and I jumped out of my seat and sang this song. Then the other classmates followed. <sighs> well... This may or may not be true, most likely not true, but I will say I remember when that particular episode came out and there was like this weird sickness that spread amongst everybody who had seen the episode, people who hadn't even seen the episode and everybody was doing the 
bird, bird, bird is the word thing. You, If you remember it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you remember getting annoyed by it. And you remember everybody doing it. You yourself probably did it. Admit it. <laughs> but there was this weird thing that happened. It was like... <laughs> like an illness that spread and everybody was just obsessed with doing it and it was so annoying and I'm so glad that it died and that was before like memes were a thing <laughs> it might have been one of the originals original memes I don't know but uh if you were in a class where bird was the word of your day odds are you're in a pretty low level grade like kindergarten first maybe second grade would would they have a word like bird? <laughs> it's pretty simple. And I would want to hope that first graders and second graders <laughs> wouldn't know Family Guy uh, word for word. But you just never know these days, huh? Now it's time for some double layered fake scenarios that didn't happen at all. <laughs> at all. Honestly, sometimes in high school, people say the most ridiculous stuff, and I make this face and look somewhere at an imaginary camera like I'm on The Office. Oh my god, you're so different and exciting and unlike everybody else who's seen The Office, which is everyone. I mean, there's a few of us out there who haven't seen the full show from tip to tail. I'm one of them. Don't at me. It's fine. Leave me alone. I don't have to watch things I don't want to watch. It's okay. <laughs> But I feel like everybody's watched it. So, oh, so unique. Wow. Nobody knows what that show is. It's just an obscure show that only you know of. My school has security cameras in every classroom. Oh, this guy could not be outdone, huh? And I've done this at least three times each class this entire year. Today, the security guard came up to me and told me I was his hero. Yeah, that didn't happen. I can, I can just about very comfortably 100% guarantee that that did not happen. Um, I also have been out of the school system for a long time. I mean, I, I know I'm in college now, but you know what I mean, like uh, the grade school, high school environment. I don't know what the security looks like these days. Uh, I don't know if they have security cameras all over the place. I don't know if there is a security guard that sits in a room and just looks at footage of high school students all day. I mean, maybe, I don't know it's a wild world out there so could be but I don't know if you know if this is something that actually happens feel free to let me know below other than that I'm just gonna call 100% BS my tinder date from last night is my uber driver for tonight's tinder date neither of us said a word while it's very likely that this scenario did not happen I'm just saying this is possible I myself have not dabbled in tinder but I have close friends who have and I have heard some stories and it's just very possible that this could be real <laughs> <laughs> I get this one kind of like the mom singing in the car too loud. I don't know, but part of me kind of related to both of those. <laughs> it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the video. It's time for the wholesome moment of the day. Let's see who you guys sent over. The animals featured in today's video were sent over by Kat, and Kat actually has five different animals that I would like to share with you, but I'm just going to do two of them in this video and then the other three in another video. So let's go ahead and read the email sent along with the photos. The first cat is Miss Tesla under the Christmas tree. She is my baby and I found her outside in below freezing weather here in Colorado about three years ago close to Thanksgiving. I lured her in with a bit of little Smokies <laughs> and tried to find owners but to no avail and now she is mine. I personally suspect someone was moving out of the apartment complex and couldn't take her so they dumped her. She was chubby and friendly when I found her so clearly not a stray. Ugh, unfortunately uh, your intuition is probably spot on. Carrie, short for Caragor, a character from a book, is the black cat. I have this book called Sabriel that I've had for years. It's one of my favorites. Uh, when I was younger, I used to love the fantasy genre. I mean, I still do. They're fun to read. I, I do love a good book, a good fantasy book. But there is a character in that. I believe he's a bad guy, and his name is Caragor, I think. I'll have to double check that. She lived in a storm drain in Illinois where my uncle was going to pew pew her if she didn't leave, but my mom was visiting and couldn't let that happen. So she texted my dad asking if he wanted another cat. Our last family cat that we had had for 18 years had just passed and my mom had been adamant about not wanting another cat. So of course we jumped at the chance and named her after one of my mom's favorite book characters. <laughs> she is very shy but loves neck scratches and bum scratches. She gets scared when people are standing, so we sit on the floor and wait quietly and patiently for her to come to us, and she is warming up more and more as time goes by. Oh my goodness, Kat, thank you so much for sharing these stories, and I can't wait to share the rest of your pets. 
And if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend to adopt not shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies. Donate if you can, volunteer if you can, foster if you can, and don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. And if you want to see a photo of your pets here, then go ahead and send it to my email in my channel description, and you will see your pets here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I love for what you have to say, and I love interacting with you all. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. All right, folks, I hope you're doing well. And if you're not doing well, here's an internet hug from me. You are loved. And I will see you guys soon in the next day or so in an r slash anti MLM trash video. And if you have started up your winter term, whether it was a couple weeks ago or now or soon well then bless your heart it's gonna be fine <laughs> we're all gonna make it we're all in it together and it's gonna be a-okay i'm saying that just as much for myself as i am for you all right folks i love you all very much and as always until the next video take care